Pad Corral, yeah, cool. You're barking up the wrong tree. That's what I saw me. Tired of you, out of the moon. How are you gonna bust when there's no womb? What? Any really any lyric I'm on? Spit the lyric back on. It's me, the kids are mad on. When I touch my you know what flame on. This week we're making pad krapow, I'm leafing to the bit of B, yeah? Um, which is a Thai inspired dish, which is basically chicken, oyster sauce, soy sauce, couple spices, sugar, Thai basil, in a nice little wok arrangement. So I've got two beautiful skin off, free range chicken breasts. Is we're just gonna dice this chicken up, right? We wanna do like, almost like a chicken mince, to be honest, without, actually turning it into a mint. So we want cubes of little chicken. Do the same with this one. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Split it straight down. So I'm splitting it just because it's uniform the entire way now. It's all the same thickness, right? Same thickness on that side to the same thickness on that side. Just so that it cooks quicker, cooks evenly, cooks the same, cooks. I'm now just going to cube it the other way, right? This can be quite rough because we're going to run the knife over it again. We'll give it a cross chop like this. Just to get it smaller. So we've gone from a dice to a fine dice. Now you can do this with fires, legs, drums, um, whatever. I'm using breast because I just feel that it cooks the best and I've not really done it any other way. So I'm sticking to my guns, sticking to shit that I know, right? Now this dish was first made to me by a friend. I've never been to Thailand, um, but it was one of those dishes where I was like, oh, I need this recipe, I need to know how to make this, it's fucking delicious. So it's like spicy, salty, sweet, fragrant. We're gonna move on to the two main ingredients in this, garlic. and Thai red chilies, right? So I've got two, four, six, eight, nine Thai red chilies and four cloves of garlic. Just gonna chop them so that they break down easier in a pestle and mortar. Do the same with the chilies. Now, nine chilies is a bit excessive, right? But I kind of feel like this dish has to be hot. So hold back on the chilies if you want, go half the amount, depending on how hot you like food. I quite like hot food and it's not like a bravado thing. It's not, oh yeah, I'm hard as nails. I'm big, I'm six foot six. I can eat fucking food that's hotter than you. I just particularly enjoy hot food because with this dish, you've got like a little sliced cucumber on the side that like cools everything down um, and it's, it's not a lingering hot, it's a hot that gets you straight away, but kind of like mellows out the more you eat it, so that you, you, you become almost acclimatized to the heat, right? This all goes into the pestle and water. And then, I'm gonna bash it. Now by bashing it, we're releasing all the juices in our chili and our garlic, right? It's gonna give us the opportunity to cook it fast, but also for it to be aromatic and for the juices to flavor our oil in the wok. Right, so you're looking for a paste. It looks like that. It's not completely obliterized, but this all come together. It's turned into like a uniform color. We've crushed the garlic. There's like chili seeds in it. Everything's broken down and let out all of its natural oils and flavors, right? Um, so from there, we've diced our chicken. We've made the base. We need, I'm going an entire bunch of Thai basil, yeah? So this is like aniseed, sweet. Smells delicious, almost tarragon-like. If you can't get Thai basil, I once made this dish with normal basil and tarragon. Wasn't the same, but wasn't like, oh, this is fucking shit. So if you can't, normal basil and tarragon. I'm just literally 
Gonna rip the stalks off, set that to one side. And then I've just like, peeled every other side of the cucumber for shits and giggles, aesthetics. You don't have to do that, it just looks pretty. Quite chunky slices. And this is just for like, when the heat gets too hot, you wanna cleanse your palate a little. Stick a little cucumber in your mouth. Jobs are good at it. So, cucumber can be put to one side. It's a very nice cucumber actually. And now let's talk about what's going into our dressing, right? So, soy sauce, classic, great, delicious. Fish sauce, which is gonna give us another little saltiness and a background aroma of like the sea, yeah? Oyster sauce, which I'm not pretty, I'm not actually sure how it's made, but there's actually oysters in there. Um, and it's like deep and it's gonna give you that viscous and like deliciousness and coat everything and give everything that salty, glossy vibe. Then we need two tablespoons of sugar and then we're gonna fry an egg after. And that's pretty much it. The rest of it now is all wok work, right? It's quite thick, it's quite quick. All goes in, you need a hot wok, you need to seal and cook fast, right? So let's go to the wok. It's gonna add a little touch of water to my hot wok, right? That's just to get off all the old cook off of it. We are cooking in it recently. I'm gonna get rid of that water. And then we're gonna wipe it out. So I got new neighbors, yeah? They're doing stuff to the house. I think he's cutting tiles or some bullshit. It's done. Anyway, oil in, right? This is quite a big bit of oil. And what we're doing now is we're creating a film around our wok, right? We're giving it the ability to become non-stick. So this oil needs to get hot. So that's sunflower oil or veg oil. Don't use olive, don't use rapeseed, none of that stuff. Go neutral white oil that's got a high smoking point. So look, this is up to smoking point, right? This oil is very, very, very hot. Yeah? Gonna get rid of it. Onto my dad's fig tree again. Don't, don't tell him. And then... Add another bit of oil. And what I wanna do is almost deep fry an egg, yeah? So this is the garnish on top. I'm gonna to do this first. So you want your egg to have like crispy edges. I'm just ladling the oil over the top so that the top part of the egg cooks as well. See, it's quite hot. You can see the smoke coming off. You need a hot wok for this. Wok fried, crispy egg, yeah? Happy? Good. Set this to one side, come back to it later, and we're now gonna go in with our chicken. So we want to cook our chicken. You want to cook your chicken hard and fast, right? You want to cook any moisture out. The reason I'm using a free range chicken is it's not injected with like moisture or water in order to make it way more so you don't get bang for your buck. I'm using a free range chicken because it's good. People who raise those chickens care about them, right? 
So look, you can see there's a little bit of water coming out of this chicken. That's just natural. We're going to reduce that into the wok, right? Let that all reduce off. And then when our chicken starts to fry again, we're going to go in with our chili and garlic. Yeah, so our chicken's gone back to frying now, right? I'm gonna push it to one side. I'm gonna add a little glug of oil. Oil's gone into the middle and I'm basically about to create tear gas, yeah? In goes the chili and garlic. I'm gonna stir fry that through. garlic's not going to take that long to cook yeah so my garlic is just about to catch on the bottom of the wok <laughs> garlic is just about to catch now I'm gonna go in tablespoon oyster sauce two tablespoons soy Tablespoon fish sauce. I'm going to cook this through, right? Right, you want to cook off all the moisture. Now, nine chilies is a bit mad. Um, you want to cook off all the moisture in this pan, yeah? So you want to reduce everything. You see, we've got this nice dark color, right? We've added three ingredients that are very salty. We're gonna go in with our sugar now, right? And the sugar's gonna help caramelize and make things sweeter, yeah? Now, sugar goes in. Quickly with my eyes closed. Right, sugar's in. When it starts to catch on the bottom of the pan, we turn the heat off. Yeah, heat's off. And we go in with all of this Thai basil, right? So we want the Thai basil to wilt. We don't want to cook it because we're going to lose all of its flavor. We just want it to wilt into the chicken. And so now it's gone from like a spicy smell in the air to like anise, tarragon, delicious bits, right? Look at the color of that, man. That's what you're looking for. You want to cough the entire time that you make it. Have a runny nose. Ness on a fucking cold winter's day. It's going to warm you up, bro. I'm going to run inside and get some rice that I made earlier. Rice in a bowl, yeah? I'm going to take some of our krapal. Just stick it on the side, yeah? Like that. Now, we're gonna take our crispy fried egg with our hands. I didn't think you were gonna show that. We're gonna take our crispy fried egg with our hands that's popped underneath, yeah? We're gonna plonk a few bits of cucumber on the side. And then, I just like to put a little bit of fish sauce on my egg before I break it. And we're fucking done. That is a wrap. It's not a wrap, it's pad crepel, but it's a wrap, fam. I cooked that rice yesterday, no, the day before yesterday, and I've nuked it. Can I eat it? Yeah, if you've nuked it, as long as you've fucking nuked it. It was done five minutes. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So that's it. Done. Easy. Piece of piss. Just gonna get a bit of the crepel and a cucumber.
It's fucking delicious. <laughs> it's delicious, I'm telling you. The Thai basil's wilted. The chicken's deep and sweet and it's got a beautiful colour. Gonna take a cucumber. <laughs> Gonna take a bit of cucumber. It's hot when you're cooking it. When the, the chili is cooking off all of its vapour, an intense heat, right? But now, I've got heat, and I'm a little bit like, oh, this is spicy, and I enjoy it. But it's not over overwhelming. It doesn't, it doesn't block out all the rest of the flavours, right? So eating it, you get sweet, you get salty, you get clean aniseed from the, the holy basil. And then you get to cleanse your palate with a little cucumber, the fried egg on top just gives you that another layer of luxuriousness when you break the yolk. So look, you've got like this eggy, gooey yolk in the middle, right? Bit of chicken, bit of cucumber, fish sauce on the egg. It's fucking legit. If you really wanted to, a good squash of lime. I haven't got lime, but a good squash of lime over the top will cut through the heat and will just give, make everything sing that little bit better. Also, the cucumber just works as like a cooling factor. And also it has like that wateriness, the clean cut against everything else. Make this on a winter night, man. For real, make this on a winter night. You won't have to sit by the fireplace, I promise you. You're barking at the wrong tree. The spotlight's on me. How are you gonna bust when there's no room? That's it, ladies and gents. Easy Thai stir fry with ingredients that you can get your hands on almost anywhere now. Oyster, fish sauce, soy. It's such a good dish. And we've literally made it in what? 15 minutes? When, once you've cut the chicken, it's made. You just gotta focus on the cooking in, in the wok. Reducing the sauce, adding the sugar last minute. It's an easy one, man. But thank you for watching. Make this one. Trust me, it's a banger. Potato.